Today we're going to make couples. Couples are cups made into people. Today we're going to make saints. This is Aunt Imelda and this is Aunt Benedict. First, take your cup and churn it so that it's standing upright on the table. Then trace the bottom of it onto a piece of paper. Now cut out the circle. You're going to have to cut it a teeny bit smaller than it is. Next, take your cup and pinch it on both sides so that it folds over like this. You might need to push in the middle. Then, take your circle and your tape and fold both sides of the tape over and push them together. Then, put it on the back of your circle and put your circle inside of the cup. Then, draw your face. Now decide what saint you want it to be. I'm going to have my saint be a nun. I'm going to make Saint Celastica, who is a Benedictine nun. So I'm going to cut a long strip of black paper out and then tape it onto her for a dress. You might need to curve it a little bit in the back. Dominican nun, you're going to want to use white. If you're making a Franciscan, use brown. And if you're making a Benedictine, use black. After you're done taping it on, you're going to have extra at the bottom. So cut that off. Now, if you're making a nun, cut out your veil. Make another long strip and make it skinnier than before. Then, fold it over the top of your doll's head. Now figure out where you want to tape it. When you're done, it'll look like this. This is Saint Celastica. Now, if you want to draw the little rope that nuns have around their waist, draw that. Then I'm going to draw their rosary. You might hear weird noises sometimes in the movie. Those are the birds in our chimney. This is Saint Celastica. Do you see her robe and rosary? If you want to make a priest, just don't put the veil on and put a little white cube right there to be a priest's collar. I also put the Eucharist and the patent on it and I drew some hair. Um, bye!